Good morning, everybody, and it's bonus day 88. <coughs> My cough is getting worse. The congestion is getting worse. Um, it's getting thicker. Um, my chicken broth is a godsend, but it's, I'm having to drink it more frequently. And like Princess Harley was near her end of days. Um, the pain is all over my body. Every day I wake up, it's, it's, the pain has increased. Um, it's in my head. It's all over my, it's all over my body. It's like somebody just freaking started beating me in the middle of the night. And every day I wake up, it's like this. This is not fun, I can tell you. But what is fun is learning about Jesus. So enough about my nonsense. My, my, my health hiccups in my earthly body. My my body may be deteriorating, but my brain's still working. So, ta-da! So my King James Bible app. We got a couple little fun things. Ephesians three verse sixteen reads that He would grant you, according to the riches of His glory, to be strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that you be rooted and grounded in love. As you walk in your Christian life, you need to ensure that you remain rooted in Christ at all times. <coughs> <coughs> the enemy will try to railroad you and tamper with your faith. But as you can see in this verse, God is able to keep you through his spirit and remind you to focus on Christ at all times. Dear God, I pray that no matter what may come my way, I will remain focused at all times, knowing that your spirit is keeping me and strengthening me while well, it's keeping me alive. I, I am telling you, he wants me here, so I just keep fighting. Although last night, a very close friend said, well, you've just given up. You're not fighting anymore. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, but... um. I, Yesterday was a day 87, and I haven't thrown in the towel. I'm still fighting. I'm still here. So that was really upsetting to hear from somebody really near and dear to me. I'm thinking, what on earth do I have to do to prove to you that I said I don't have to prove anything to this individual, that I'm still fighting? I, I haven't thrown in the towel that that I want to just take massive amounts of drugs and be cold toast all day. I mean, what the frick? That's what I deal with. Let's throw some more stones, Natalie. Okay, what do you got? Need my Wonder Woman arms on. <laughs> I thank you, Lord, that I do not have to face this world on my own. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now there's another devotion. We are invited in God's eyes. We are all equal, all God's children, all invited to the family gathering. Matthew 22, verses 8 through 10. I keep telling everybody... <coughs> <coughs> I don't even care if I have a belly ache because I, if I have my hot chocolate in the morning that I make myself, it makes me happy. And I don't care if it makes my stomach sicker. I don't. It doesn't matter. I just, it's warm and fuzzy and makes. It's like having a giant hug inside my body. Just saying. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> the nausea has been awful, truly. So this is, um, this one is written by Francis Taylor, and it's from the King James Bible app, and it's entitled, We Are Invited. The kingdom of heaven is ready, and we are invited. Well, it's been ready. But are we like the original guest to the king's wedding? putting off the invitation and finding something else to do that they consider more important, something with your earthly pleasures, man's world. We might also be like those invited to fill the hall 
when no one else would come and grateful to be invited. And some of us respond gladly to the invitation and then just don't show up. Again, this is directed first at the Jewish listeners who were promised a Messiah and saved from Egypt and then had better things to do than to keep God's commands and even ignored or killed the prophets who kept trying to bring them back. The highways and the byways include those the Jewish leaders considered unworthy, the tax collectors, the prostitutes, the maimed, the lepers, the Samaritans, and the Gentiles. The thing we have to remember is that all are invited to the banquet in the kingdom. And, you know, I keep telling people, I'm on recess. Res recess. We all are. We all have the same assignment. It's just what you choose to do with your assignment. And what I choose to do may not be the same. That's your choice. It's all about choices. I'm just here to, to teach as much as I can while he wants me here. This includes those we consider worthy of the invitation and those we do not. In God's eyes, we are all equal, all God's children, all invited to the family gathering. Just like all families, there can be a little dysfunction, a few wayward children, but in the end, families come together. We need to decide to answer the invitation, save the date, plan for the wedding, and show up every day so that when the servants come to let us know that the banquet is ready, we will be ready to come. Amen. Loving and forgiving God. Thank you for another bonus day, 88. Thank you for all the times you send us reminders that the kingdom is waiting for us. All we need to do is follow Jesus, who not only knows the way to you, but is the way. Amen. So as you go through your Monday, you know, think about these things. You know, have you gotten your family in order? Um, I mean, we are in a war with versus good versus evil, and he'll prevail. I mean, look what's going on in China. That's the sweetest thing on earth. Let's make that dollar worthless. I keep saying that. People just look at me like I'm crazy. Probably going to pay for anything. Well, you don't need to. <laughs> if you make the, the, the dollar worthless, everything that you have right now becomes yours. Sounds like a perfect equation to me. Your debt's wiped away, the whole nine yards. I mean, how long have you been paying on your house? More than seven years? Well, it's clear as a bell in the Bible. After seven years, your debt's forgiven. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But you know, they don't want you to remember that from the Lord's Prayer. They want you to conform to trespassers. They're not the same. And I know I am going to keep beating this horse because it's wrong. And other people need to call out these lukewarm churches for changing the Lord's Prayer. Just saying. I've spoke my piece, and they certainly don't want to hear a peep out of me. They've made that crystal clear because the one, one of the church that I'm a member of, I asked, I asked for a prayer request, I asked for a pastor to contact me quite a while ago. No, no, they don't want to talk to me. Okay. Then you deal with your demons and I don't have any. I t I'm just here to spread love, unconditional love. And to unite this world with love. It's that simple. It's not difficult. We're all supposed to be doing the same thing. Stop fighting. Start spreading love. Not war. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.